Hi there, thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I'm really excited to talk today about some down socks and down um, boot covers to go over them from Goose Feet Gear. Um, I initially started looking for these because I run really cold all the time and uh, you know one of the worst experiences is when um, your feet go cold in your sleeping bags. So um, I was looking for some down booties and there aren't too many companies out there that make um, the kind that I was looking for. I specifically wanted these to wear inside of my sleeping bag and not to walk around. So a lot of the down booties or down socks have an extra lining on the bottom um, to prevent slippage when you're walking around. But I didn't want that in my sleeping bag because I didn't want it to, you know, like rub up against the sleeping bag material. So I was looking for something that was the same material at the top of the sock as well as on the bottom. Um, and so Goose Feet Gear provided exactly what I was looking for. And um, they're fully customizable, which I really like as well. This, these are the booties. Um, these are the socks. So as I mentioned, they're fully customizable in terms of the amount of down fill you want in there, the color, the fabric, um, and the size. And what's great about Goose Feet Gear is that they provide the weight of each of those different options and um, the price varies depending on all these upgrades that you want to make. The standard fill with no extra is 35 degrees Fahrenheit and you can choose to overfill by 25, 50, 75 or 100% extra. So I did the 100% extra so these supposedly do go to 15 degrees Fahrenheit um, which I haven't been in that cold of temperatures so far so I can't say how accurate that is. Um, but I will say they're very warm. Even just having my hand in here for the couple of minutes I've been speaking, they're already getting really toasty. Um, so they do retain your heat quite well. So I chose the shell color. Um, there's two specific options. The version I got is actually a 10D fabric, which they no longer offer. They replaced it with a 8D fabric, um, supposedly even more ultralight than the ones that I got. And these are already pretty feather light. So I'm a, I expect it's even more amazing. Um, and then the other option is the 20D, which is a little tougher. It's not supposed to be as soft and it's also heavier. So I went with the lighter option. I figured, like I said before, these are for in my sleeping bag. Um, so I didn't need the material to be super tough because I wasn't intending to wear these around the campsite or anything like that. They were purely to keep my feet warm in my bag. I ordered orange on the outside and then custom chose black on the inside. And what's sweet is you can actually choose the outer material and the inner material. Um, so if you wanted, you could choose the tougher material on the outside if you wanted a little bit more protection and then choose the softer, um, lighter weight, but also softer to skin fabric on the inside. I wear an eight and a half woman, pretty consistent across a bunch of different brands. Um, I ended up going with a medium and I usually wear these with a thin liner, um, not because I need the liner, but because um, one, if my foot got sweaty, I wouldn't want that, um, you know, touching the down. And two, um, usually I'm using these after a day of hiking or more than one day of hiking, so my feet stink. Um, and so I just want to keep these as clean as possible. So I have a specific pair of sleep-only liner socks that, um, that I bring with these guys. Um, you can see how poofy they are, which is great, um, but they're really comfortable. Um, another thing that's great is, you know, they have the Josh or the shinch, cinched top. Um, there is not, this is not adjustable, but, um, it works perfectly fine for me and it's not too tight. They're quite fluffy. I don't know what the base slippers look like, but, um, these guys got a lot of fill in there. Another thing that's really great about the website is that when you go to the size and weight tab, it'll actually show you based on the size that you're gonna order, broken down by male and female um, US shoe size. It tells you the weight of the fabric combination. So it has like 8D weight or 8D plus 20D weight and then the standalone 20D weight. Um, and then it also gives you the base fill. These are all 850 plus power premium goose down treated with down tech for water resistance. Um, so the standard fill for the extra small with like none of that extra filling is 0.8 ounces of actual down fill all the way up to the XXL um, has 1.3 ounces. So like I mentioned, I got the medium 
which is one ounce and I paid for 100% extra down fill so I ended up with um, two ounces. The down socks do actually come with a little drawstring bag. Um, it's pretty small. This is what they came in. I don't use it for storage because I don't want to compact the down. Um, but they do fit perfectly in here with, honestly, this could be compressed further. Um, but I haven't found a smaller compression sack, so I just use this when I'm actually going out. For storage, I use just a little REI stuff sack and they fit perfectly in here. So when I'm putting them away, and that, you know, keeps them fluffy enough so the down doesn't get compressed. As I mentioned, these don't have any, um, you know, any protection on the bottom if I was gonna wear these outside, which is fine because I wasn't going to. But just in case you have that midnight pee break that always happens, um, you can also order the waterproof over booties, which I think is genius. Um, so I did that because I always have to pee in the middle of the night. Um, so they come in a cute little bag. Again, the fabric and the colors for these are completely customizable. These are the little boots that come with them. So these are great because once again, you can choose between a couple different fabrics. I went with the lighter fabric again because I didn't intend that I was going to be walking around in these all the time. Um, you can see you can even see my hand through it, so it's quite thin. Um, the fabric that I went for is called the Dynamix, which they still have. Um, again, I went for a size medium. They do actually match these to be slightly larger than these guys, so you can get the same size and they'll correspond. The fabric for the down waterproof over booties that I got also is not available. I got the Dyneme, Dynamix, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, they upgraded that as well, so now it's called um, Robic. So um, the Tough Tex is the heavier fabric that I did not go for that is still available on the website. It's tougher, it's more resistant, and there's a little bit more um, resistance when you're walking around so you don't slip as easily. The one I got is apparently comparable to the Robic currently available one, which is still fully waterproof. Um, still, like I mentioned, has a little bit more of a tough bottom than on the top part of the boot, but is not as tough um, as the, the Tough Tech. Um, it's also a lot lighter, which is why I went for it. How these work essentially is they have this little drawstring that goes, actually I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So I have my booty on and you put this on like you would put on a sock. And this drawstring is going to go around like that and cinch down. So it's going to hold it in place. And then this one at the top, so there's two little chinch spaces, um, goes ahead and keeps this up. So when I walk around, it's not going to fall down. What I appreciate about this is that, first of all, the fabric up top is a lot thinner than the fabric on the bottom. So the bottom is this Dynamix and it's waterproof, the whole boot is waterproof, but this material is a lot thicker. Um, and you can kind of see, it comes with this, it's literally just like, is this styrofoam? It's like a cheap little cutout, like what you might find in the bottom of a packaging box, but um, provides a little bit of comfort on the bottom so when you're walking around you step on a rock it's not going to be the worst thing ever this definitely is not like the padding on the bottom of a foot you can see it's or bottom of a shoe it's very thin um but it'll do the job for like a pee break um this is held down by just some elastic but what's great is um you can actually pull it out so you can see this is just like a super cheap material but it works and it's light um, which is what we care about so if you don't want it you can actually take it out so you can just have um, just the base of the boot and save a couple more ounces I don't know how much this weighs I'm not counting my half ounces but if you are it could be another way to save weight oh yeah and then because you, the, you are custom ordering this um it does take a little bit of time they're very transparent about the amount of time it'll take for you to order any of their custom gear and most of their gear online is customizable the lead time for the over booties is they say ship within two weeks of the order date 
um, and this box is shipped within one week of the order, one week of the order date. So if you just get these guys, it'll be twice as fast as if you get these guys. Um, I placed my order on September 3rd and it was delivered by September 21st. So that's the lead time and shipping. Um, so 18 days. So how does it work? Um, the coldest I've camped this fall so far has probably been about uh, 41 to four degrees. These worked great. Um, I used a 15 degree bag, which I got secondhand, so it's been pretty padded down. Honestly, don't know um, what the comfort rating would be now, but it's definitely not 15 degrees. I haven't used these yet in my winter bag. I don't even know if I'll need them in my winter bag, but of course I'll bring them just in case. Um, but they worked great. They're super comfortable. The first time I used them, I did have to use a pee break and um, I ended up using the little down booty covers and they worked perfect. Um, again, if you're not gonna be walking around the campsite, I don't know how necessary these are to buy. It is another extra, about 50 bucks. So if you're not gonna be using them a lot, it might just be worth slipping these guys off really quickly, putting on your boots doing your business, coming back in. These will probably still be warm when you come back. Well, they will still be warm when you come back. Um, so you might not need these, um, but it is nice. It does make it really convenient and it does keep your feet warm. I'm sure um, once I start doing some snow camping, I will <laughs> be very appreciative of having these. Um, but if you're not planning on doing that, um, it could make sense for you just to save a couple bucks. Um, but yeah, so that is my review for um, Goose Feet Gears down socks and down waterproof over booties. Um, I'm very, very pleased with the purchase. Um, I've been looking for a pair of these for a while. These have been amazing and they're super comfortable. And I love wearing them. Um, they're probably one of my favorite pieces of gear. I just get excited when you put them on and so I think you know, anytime you get gear that you're excited about, it makes it all the more enjoyable to use. So, um, I highly recommend using these. Um, again, I will put the links down below and I hope you like this video. Um, I promise my future ones will be more streamlined as I know a little bit more about what to talk about. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.